tonight for just about all of us. What we learn in school from the ages of 5 to 18 provides the foundation for the rest of our lives. During those years, we also learn an enormous amount outside of school. Sometimes the two educations come together, as they did earlier this year when a small number of high school students from Central Maine had an experience they will never forget. It was not a typical school assignment at Erskine Academy in the town of China. In fact, it wasn't an assignment at all, but a project that was strictly voluntary. Eight students and eight adults would travel from Maine to Guatemala, not to hike, not to sightsee, not to take advanced Spanish classes, but to build a house for a needy family in a matter of days. And I thought it was a compelling story to tell. Chris Bennett graduated from Erskine Academy and is now a professional photographer whose work has taken him around the world. He went along on this trip because he believed wholeheartedly in the mission and he wanted to chronicle it in photographs. So Kamalapa, the town we were in, is not a tourist town. You just don't find tourists there. So it was very interesting um, being the minority. You know, as you're walking down the street, a white person in a, in a Latin American country, you get looks, people stare at you, and I think it was a good experience for the kids to kind of feel that way as well. From the moment the students arrived, their eyes were opened to a way of life completely unlike what they're used to. It's really amazing to go to a different country and see how their culture is different and how the things they eat are different and the way of life is different and they think differently and dress differently and it's so cool. The trip was not a vacation. The students first had to raise $6,000 to pay for the construction of the house. Then, once they got to Guatemala, they had to build it, a job that required hard physical labor. You know, any of the cement blocks, sand, rock for the cement, all the materials we had to carry down the hill, heavy stuff, you know, wheelbarrows, cement blocks. The house was simple, a cinder block structure with a metal roof for a mother, father, and three kids. To build it, the main crew hauled about 1,400 cement blocks, each weighing about 25 pounds. We'd either ride in a, the back of a pickup truck to the work site or walk, uh, and then we would work our butts off for for a good 10 hours. They, they were hard, hard days. Sonia Stevenson teaches Spanish at Erskine Academy. This is the ninth house she has built in Central America with her students. Each evening in Guatemala, she and the students would talk and share what they called roses, buds, and thorns. Roses being what was good that day, buds, what they hoped for the future, and thorns, what they didn't like about the day. So this boy was thinking, and I said, um, are you okay? And he said, I'm just thinking that my horses have a better house than these people do. Getting to know people who have so little money and so few possessions compared to Americans is an education in itself. I mean, it was tough to see it, but, you know, I'm, I was glad that I had the opportunity to go and try to make a difference. I think when they come back, they really come back uh, changed. The students concentrated on the task at hand, largely because they had almost no time to spare. I mean, this is not an exaggeration. In one week, you guys built them a house. Three days, pretty, four, three or four days, yeah. Perhaps the most moving moment of the trip came when the house was finished and the keys were handed over to the family. The mother was overwhelmed. Yeah, I mean, it was an image that we'll all carry with us for forever. We built this family a home and it wouldn't be any bigger than a garage for us here. The family teared up and I, I had a few tears behind the camera. I was hiding behind the camera a little bit um, and then all the kids were tearing up as well. It was a, a great moment. The trip had a powerful impact on the students. Will it last? Consider this. After college, Liz Sugg hopes to join the Peace Corps. Cassidy Wade wants to work with the group Doctors Without Borders. Those plans may change. What will endure is that modest house for a family in Guatemala paid for and built by some teenagers from Maine whom they'd never seen before and may never see again. Kids always have a bad rep through history, I think, you know, people like kids these days. But I can say that this group of kids is unbelievably compassionate, bright, smart, and motivated. Um, and I don't think it pertains just to Erskine Academy. I think you would find that across the board, all over the country. Of all the stories I've done this year, that was one that was really among the most uplifting. I just loved meeting those young people. 
What a very different field trip, though, for kids to go on, and just an incredible experience that they... Yeah, from, from the moment you wake up in the morning to the second you finally fall asleep at night, it's just, it's an entirely different world and such an education. Yeah. Good for them. As for Chris Bennett, photographer who took all the photos in that story, he's now working on another project photographing very different people in a very different place, and we're going to bring you that story on a future 207.